what if? What if is a statement that haunts me in the best way possible? Because it forces us to look at the possibility outside of the one that we're so sure about. You see, what if is the driving force behind all of humanity's greatest creations? What if is the thing that created the steam engine? What if is the thing that created electricity, the internet, YouTube? So my question to us is why stop now? So what if? What if love was all there is, was, and ever will be? What if we labeled our kids L-O-V-E instead of ADD and ADHD? What if we can heal ourselves with our mind? What if we put more into our peace budget than we do into our war budget? What if we paid the people who do good in this world the same way that we pay and, and cheer for the football stars and the basketball stars and the baseball stars? What if we paid teachers the same amount that we paid Justin Bieber? What if? Now, I don't claim to have all the answers, but I do know that we have some issues that can be resolved in our lifetime. And like Martin Luther King talks about when he says that he's been to the mountaintop, I also have been to the mountaintop, and every time I get there, all I see is that we are one. One people, one family, one planet, one universe, one song, one heart. So I ask you, what if? What if we could have it all now? What if love is our truth? It's never really about us. That haters hate because they're confused admirers. That haters have a lack and limitation consciousness so they believe that what's yours is actually theirs.